lion voice. Tell them that's the people first choice. Lion voice, make the lion let them feel nice. Lion voice, with the lion cubs we sacrifice. Lion voice, got to show the people them the lion. Lion voice. By the matrix in slavery times, I know I couldn't protect. You must admit, I know you lost a little respect. Greetings in that divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie the First. Glory and honor in the name of His Chosen Queen, Empress Wazir Menen. My name is Kwasi Bansu, aka the Chasmach Kwasi, aka Ras Kwasi, aka the Reading Ras, aka the Pan African Happy Man. I'm an entertainment attorney. I'm an author, I'm an artist, I'm an actionist, and right now, I'm the host of The Lion Voice. Welcome to The Lion Voice Network, and welcome to The Lion Voice. We are here, we are giving thanks, we are now in the month of June, and we have passed 920 subscribers, so I just want to big up the lion pride today we're going to return to a fundamental topic on this channel um, and that is the rastafari man standard part of the aim of this channel is to really help to cultivate the rastafari man to lead a prosperous rastafari future the core uh, audience of this channel are rastafari brethren although we have Lion Pride from all faiths, all walks of life. I want to acknowledge that. But the core um, is Rastafari. We're 95%, according to the analytics, male right now, female. Um, did spike up to 7%. We're back up to 95%. But don't worry, I have woolly for content for the sistrin on the way. Respect uh, for everyone who watched our last episode of Lion Talk with with Data Aini uh, doing very well for the channel and again we're gonna have a lot more voices of our Rastafari sister we're just getting started we have exciting things coming our second episode of Lion Talk Live we're gonna be talking to Reverend Kwame Kamau it's gonna be a powerful reasoning there's a brethren who uh, very versed uh, you know from a Hebrew kind of Israelite biblical perspective um, a cannabis activist pan-african virgin who doing mighty work in the Caribbean out of Trinidad we're gonna have him on the platform so stay tuned for that uh, we have a lot planned uh, you saw the last episode we talk about a free and united Africa our 101st episode and again 
a key component of having this free united africa is having a strong rastafari male presence i have to speak for what i am can't tell uh, sister in the month do can't tell but i can share my experience as a virgin coming to the chad and there are certain fundamental tenets that we want to um, hone in on we talked about the rastafari man standard that there has to be a basic standard right now uh, we see a lot of gray area going on within the chad meaning you can't to tell rastafari from the regular uh, you know person out there rastafari do everything with the people that we do which is not how it should be um, there are certain standards that we have to live by that were set by his imperial majesty Empire Selassie the first and i'm gonna uh, for this episode we're gonna visit the selected speeches but we're gonna visit page 12 which is the speech to the Uni university college of addis ababa um, this is one of the seminal speeches where his majesty outlines leadership we talked about it on the first rest of farai man standard and i took seven principles from that speech so we're going to touch on some of those principles but some other principles because again um we have to build a foundation we saw data Aini said that the key to repatriation will be rastafari families well my lord mm -hmm. honestly i think that family is important okay because you need support. You need, support. You need company. Mm -hmm. You need someone to bounce ideas off of. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's one thing to be resourceful, but when you only have yourself to depend on, mm -hmm. it's not easy. Not easy. You know, wow. family is important. And I don't think that that has been our focus because you have to have strong families to build strong communities to yes. build a strong nation um family is the first government virgin you're a king and as a king you have to know how to administrate your kingdom in truth and in rights which means that you have to embody the principles of leadership and so this speech to the university college of addis ababa is critical because what it does is it really um outline certain principles about leadership that every rastafari bridging need to live up to this is the armageddon we're not in a test run you know we see the global systems collapsing the price of living getting higher um everywhere you you turn crisis you know people having family crisis economic crisis people struggling uh, to keep their head above water. We're coming out of a global pandemic. People were hit hard and now trying to normalize or catch up forward time. So these are perilous times. And so we need a strong force of bridging. And I want to cultivate that with Lion Pride. Even though I know that not all the Lion Pride are Rastafari. What we want to do is make sure that the Rastafari and the Lion Pride exemplify the Rastafari man standard. Uh, that to I would be a fitting, um, you know, work that we can contribute to this channel. And I want to big up. I spoke to uh, an a elder member of the Lion Pride, you know, an esteemed elder professional. And that's the thing I have to let the item know because of INI Network and, and because of the works in the com community. Although we haven't even passed a thousand subscribers, and I want to just again acknowledge we had set a thousand subscribers for june 1st we didn't make that goal so i share that on the community tab because i i don't just want to come and talk about the victory when you're creative things happen and things don't happen you set your goal you strive to meet the goal sometimes you're not going to meet the goal nothing wrong with that <clears throat> that's part of the process so i i share that but i said that to say i spoke with a bridging um, an elder Bredgen professional. Um, Bredgen is an architect, esteemed, um, you know, uh, in the Caribbean for his work, Rastafari elder. And he shared with I that he watches the, the program and, you know, reading Rasa and how he loved the works. And this is the reason that I 
keep the pace that I keep in terms of putting out content, making sure there's content every day because between the comments, between the phone calls, you know, because I, I wouldn't think this elder was even watching the content, you know, we're working together, but, you know, you don't know that people are watching at the same time. So we're building a wonderful community and it's going to be powerful. But again, as particularly for the younger brethren, we want to set some standards because we realize that because community is not gathering like we used to, you know, a lot of elders poured into I. The I am the product of a lot of elders pouring in a lot of tradition. I, I, I came up in the time when there was a lot of gathering. Um, so I was shaped by that environment. That environment no longer exists. So we have to find ways in keeping with modernization to spread the message. So I want to use this channel to do that. And I want to use this program also to do that. So we're talking about the Rastafari man standard. So let me uh, talk about the first thing that we want to look at here, uh, which is um, leadership does not mean domination. So this comes straight out of the speech. Leadership does not mean domination. What does that mean? It means that a leader, um, the great greatest leaders are really servants of the people. Um, but they serve an executive function, meaning they're getting things done. Um, and that is the example I want to set in terms of leading the lion pride. In terms of, you know, you have a lot of internet communities, but I want to develop a community where we can actually get work done. Um, I haven't stopped working in the 20 years that I've been in the trad. So having, you know, a, a, a support system that is standing with I so that we can magnify the work, 10x the work, we can build the institutions, strengthen the institutions that have already been created and really create a sustainable ecosystem and infrastructure for Rastafari. That's part of the legacy I want to see with the Lion Pride. <clears throat> So that's part of the legacy I want to see with the Lion Pride. So if you're part of the Lion Pride, big up. And remember, if you subscribe, you're part of the Lion Pride. And you don't have to be Rastafari. You might just love some of the other content. You might just love um, the, the interviews. You might just love uh, some other aspect. You might just be here for the music, waiting for the artist to do something uh, which is coming. Whatever you're here for, we just want to say give thanks thank you for supporting thank you for be, for part of thank you for joining us on this beautiful journey who would have thought that we would be over 900 subscribers strong right now but we are but anyhow enough of that leadership does not mean domination that means that we're here to serve the people we are here to serve the lion pride you know as a father you're there to serve your family. You're in service of your children and their needs. You're in service of your queen, ensuring that she's safe. She can dwell within her feminine energy. You know, as a, as a lion, as a, as a brethren in the community, you're there to serve the community needs to the best of your ability. Um, one of the things that we have not done as a community is building individual economics. And this is why, again, I want to champion the creative ecosystem uh, way of, of life because if we don't have strong individuals, we're not going to have strong families because, of course, the king should be one of the primary breadwinners. You should have an economic base to, to build a kingdom. That's just part of our principles on this channel. Once you have that economic base, then you can build a strong family. Strong families build strong communities. Strong community build strong nations. Strong nation build that unified continent, that Zion on earth that we're talking about or that we're seeking to build and develop on this channel. So it starts with, as a brethren, making sure that the economic ecosystem and as kings, Whatever that economic um, endeavor, it should be something that serves the needs of the people. That's in keeping with Rastafari way of life. So there's nothing wrong with monetizing service. Um, our intention is to build a, a, a network here and to monetize, but that's why we try to bring information to the youth. We try to bring value 
um, to the youth, whether it be through Lion Law, where we're talking about entertainment law topics, whether we're interviewing thought leaders um, from around the different aspects of the network, whether we're just reasoning on Rastafari, liberty or relationship topics, we try to bring value. Um, and the aim is to monetize so we can step up um, the pace of everything. And speaking of monetization, we have to big up Ramia King Designs. Um, these are part of their product offerings. They have come on board as a sponsor, so we want to big them up um, for coming on board, supporting the platform. Um, we want to also just big up Rastlage. And I just want to take some time. Um, the Bridgen, reason with the Bridgen and the Bridgen informer that he lost um, one of his brothers to violence. And if one's watched the Ross Lidge um, episode on Lion Talk, you would know that he has lost other um, brothers to violence. You know. If I talk about Southeast and them days, I don't really like to talk about it a lot, but I, I, I'm, I have to now yes. because the story has to be told. And that's and, it. And it was very, very dark. You know, I personally myself have four. My mother have seven youth. I'm the youngest of six boys. Mm -hmm. I have one sister younger than me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have four, so I'm the youngest son. Mm -hmm. My, I have four older brothers, man, dead. Two of them murder, gunshot, murder. Mm -hmm. One brother dead from AIDS and one brother from cancer. You understand? Mm -hmm. So at that time there, in, in anybody who ever experienced death of any kind of way, yeah. it affects you. And, you know, two other bro brothers, he lost the violence, he lost one more. So when we talk about um, Washington, D.C., we talk about some of the, 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 the problems of the inner city. You know, we talk about badness and these things on this channel. Know that it's very real. And that it impacts a lot of us uh, coming from rural or inner city backgrounds. Um, a lot of us who, who have roots in, in the working class of people, you know, we're not far removed from this. So I want to just ask the Lion Pride to send up Isis, send up um, prayers for our bridge in Rasselage who lost his brother. Um, it's a big story in the city here in D.C. I actually heard about the story on the news before I knew it was um, related to the bridging so big up Rasselage he's come on board supporting this platform part of the family part of the network so Lion Pride show some love um, to the brethren whether it's in the comments or just sending up her eyes but we just want one's know so the Gideon real right now um, and as we are telling the story the story has not stopped unfolding um, we're navigating this Gideon in real time so Again, leadership does not mean domination. Number two is um, inspire others to follow. So this is um, one of the principles that is my Jesus said is a mark of true leadership, that true leaders are going to inspire uh, ones to follow in their wake in terms of doing great works. Um, again, I can relate it to self in terms of um, the creative ecosystem. You know, I have a uh, brethren that I've already started to try to implement. I've, I've been sharing it with ones. And now that I am stepping out, you know, I see more ones um, also reaching out, inquiring how they can set up or how they can support. So, again, all of us have this ability. And this is why on this channel, I'm super transparent with the audience because the idea is not just to be out here I and I self, we want to see other people build their ecosystems, um, but adapt it to what they're doing in their creative space. You know, I have this long intro. It's intentional because these are all of the areas of the passion. So we use this platform as a hub for everything so we can brand in all of those areas uh, through the repetition. So we want to see other creatives come up and start their YouTube channels, to start putting out their Patreon, to start building out their ecosystem on different social media platforms, to start collecting their email lists, um, to start sending out their newsletter, because why? 
when we have all of these decentralized ecosystems, you know, everybody will attract their own audience. But now what happens? We can cross promote. I can go and interview on your platform or appear on your platform, vice versa. And now the interplay, the audiences are there. So that means Babylon cannot cancel us. We have created our own um, <coughs> consumer ecosystem. Um, we've created our own marketplace. So, you know, by I and I stepping out again and talking about these topics, providing the information instead of trying to hoard it, it has inspired others uh, to follow suit. And again, we want to see other people's works. Shine your light in Mount Zion. You know, we don't have to feel threatened. We have an abundance mindset and I have some big announcements, some collaborations are coming. Um, we've been reasoning, you know, with ones and ones. So you're going to hear about some collaborations announced. Um, and I have a, I'm going to be honest, you know, I have some advantages the average creative does not have, but I've been transparent with that. I told everyone from the beginning that my superpower was the network over 20 years in multiple fields, building relationships. So my growth, um, is, is rapid. Even it's a, it's a, it's a 95 percent organic growth. You know we haven't really done any um, paid marketing spend yet. You know we've done a little bit of testing here and there, but we haven't rolled out <coughs> any paid marketing. So it's organic growth. Some of you may be on 300 subscribers for a year, two years. It might take you the time, but being consistent beats perfection. And right now. We need to see Rastafari Bredgen push out with different economic models. You might not have the ecosystem model, but you might have something else. We need to see it right now, Bredgen. And you need to have a direct relationship with your consumer base. So regardless of what you're doing, the ecosystem is going to apply because you want to create that direct to consumer uh, ecosystem uh, to sustain whatever you're doing. So again, we want to see you push out with that by I and I pushing out with the Lion Voice Network. Again, we are seeking to inspire others to follow with their economic model and share. We need each other's strength to rise right now. One of the fascinating things uh, that I read in the speech is that is my sister, the story of nations is often told through the accomplishments of individuals. What does that mean? That mean that in this global Rastafari nation, we need some individuals to step out and to do some mighty works. We can't just rely on the artists alone. Enough of the artists, you know, are dwelling within a gray area in terms of their administration right now. And you know, they can make an economic argument for that. I see both sides of the argument. Um, I wouldn't choose that route there. But again, I also understand a lot of them have not built out a full ecosystem and they're dependent on that mainstream pipeline to sustain their economic model. And so you become vulnerable, you know, to the whims of the modern era. So regardless of what we're talking about, it's critical for us to build a, around Marcus Garvey's self-determination and we have the tools to do so with the internet. So that is what makes right now so powerful and that's what makes the Lion Pride, um, you see it there? We were chatting with two fire angels in the Patreon for months, then a third coming, then a fourth, then a fifth. The consistency, you know, we'll have more people who see the works and say, okay, the brethren is consistent. You know what? For the price of buying a cup of coffee, because you can subscribe for $5 a month. You can do $10 a month. You can do uh, $25, $40, whatever is in your budget. But you are going to have more people in the Lion Pride that say, okay, I'm part of the Lion Pride, but you know what? Love the works. I want to see the works elevate. I want to see more of this type of content. I see said the bridge and I invest in in thing. We want to build a studio on the continent and really capture 
the story of this great repatriation and again the lions telling their own story as it unfolds because this is prophecy this is history unfolding we are the generation of them that get to see this in real time so i had to step out there so that we can have our own voice because we can't rely upon these other platforms because i'm not seeing the voice that i want to hear as a rastafari brethren you know and big up all of the other rastafari brethren and sisters on youtube and I, you know i i hope to be able to interview all of them and get their story so this is not to dismiss what they are doing but there's a unique type of content that i and i are seeking to bring and part of that is that actual repatriation and as a brethren who is actively in that mindset we want to bring that side of the story i want to share my network because i know a lot of rastafari brethren who are doing powerful work but i've not seen that reflected on many platforms so instead of complaining as an actionist we have to get it done and again that's part of the leadership inspiring others to follow his majesty inspired i and i to do this work so uh, as a servant of his majesty inspired and it will inspire others and it just keep on going i'm inspired by my brethren brethren like bingy shan out there um administrating um habisha as an executive director on the continent pioneering work brethren like reverend kamal who are advocating for cannabis within the halls of the un and other major platforms brethren like kadamawi knife you know who are drafting plans uh, and models for rastafari to to rise within this modern era to agriculture pursuits and these things you know these are the narratives these are the things that we want to bring forward on this channel so again that's part of leadership and all of us have to be uh leaders and that brings us to the next part which is that the part of the speech where it says everyone has an opportunity to lead no matter what you do if you're a janitor if you're whatever your field there's a there's an opportunity for excellence and in excellence you provide leadership because leadership is not um relish to titles you know you can be the servant and the person who's in charge will follow your lead because you ex you exemplify leadership leadership is a liberty is a way of life and again we want to reinstall that in the rastafari man standard because i see too much of i and i following and i'm not talking about a brethren who see the light and him get a tattoo and him see the light and him come to far i'm talking about brethren who i hear rastafari and then i go get tattoo and them thing there is like you follow babylon you want to be in style because we accept you know the world um you know we have to accept how the i come into the chart but there have to be standard we can't be doing all of them things that the cutting of the flesh the this the that the that the that you know what i mean the, the, the goody is a temple of the most high rastafari we never see his majesty with my tattoo and these things are so what are we doing we are the embodiment we are the manifestation of his imperial majesty throughout the earth that's why we're called by his name so just like you know is my to see that Christ consciousness you know exemplify the works of Yeshua on a governmental level we now exemplify that Christ consciousness on an individual residential industrial level meaning that we as the people now um manifest that heavenly existence that liberty on earth transforming everything into productive space through the irits rastafari vibration positive we're talking about the elimination of the slums all these things that we had put forward in the other episode the building of zion a transformation a rethinking of how we experience earth the harmonization of nature and modernization we are them that have come for this purpose and this is why again we have work to do we can't afford to get into the mix up because that is the great work that we are called to do that is what his majesty did in ethiopia 
the highest of himself shall establish her. You guys see it? One of the things that's emphasized in this speech is initiative. A man must possess initiative. It says a man must strive in order to grow. And to strive, you have to train yourself out of the fear of failure. And we talked about that on the original Rastafari man standard. You have to get out of fear of failure. You know, we set a goal, put it out to the public. We said by June 1st, we wanted to get a thousand subscribers. It never happened. You have to humble yourself and come forward and acknowledge the failure. And then you still keep pushing. Now we're still pushing. You know what I mean? Set a new goal. And we keep moving forward. But again, we remember when we were at 10 subscribers, when we were at 20 subscribers, we gave thanks for those as well. So each um, part, you know, on the community tab, we said we give thanks to reach 900. So even as we acknowledge the failure, we're still thankful for where we are. And when you keep that attitude, working hard, attitude of gratitude, um, keep pushing forward, you must reach your goal. It may not be on your time that you had uh, put forward. However, sometime it will be before that time, sometime it will be after the time, but you will reach because you're pushing to reach that time. Um, a lot of time, what happens as brethren, you say, I want to achieve something, but because you don't set no hard goals or dates, it takes a lot longer to achieve than if you had buckled down and just got serious about achieving it. So. We want to establish that principle in the lion pride, that the lion pride that we are goal setters. We set goals and it's okay to be competitive. When you hear I say I want to be the number one Rastafari platform, it's not because we don't love what other Rastafari content creators. It's because we want to set anything that we do, we want to be the best in doing that. That is a very masculine trait, nothing wrong with that because iron sharpen iron and through that competition, is how we um, achieve that excellence and higher standards of excellence you know what we don't do is we don't envy our brethren we don't uh, wish ill intent on our brethren because that vibe poison the heart you know and 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 it's gonna create distortion within your vibration so we're not into that but we have to be uh, striving for goals goal setting so these are the characteristics that we want to set within the lion pride, within male leadership. Set goals for your family. You know what I mean? That you want to achieve. Right now, the Bansu family, we're on a repatriation uh, mission. You know, we purchased land, we did certain things, um, and now we're preparing for the building. Um, and if you want to uh, be part of that again in the Patreon, that's where we're going to share those um, personal family building and the building in Zion. We have um, exclusive footage up there right now, um, you know, of uh, what we're doing in Ghana, the land in Ghana, these things. So, all of that content um, will be loaded on the Patreon. Um, and again, some people will, will want to follow for that. Some people um, have other reasons. But the important thing is that the vision I had for the ecosystem instead of just telling people about it i'm actually implementing it it's a lot of work i have full time in the law uh, so i have to uh, find the time but again what you have to do you have to strive to grow by being comfortable um, you're not gonna achieve your goals so we want the lion pride characteristics to really strive uh, his Majesty says one must develop initiative and perseverance. Perseverance again is a cousin to consistency. You have to persevere, you have to be consistent. It beats perfection every day of the week. And these are the principles that we want to share. Finally, and this could have been first, but a true leader is one that recognizes he's an instrument in the hands of the Almighty. So this is the principle, again, everything that we're doing, again, is recognizing that we are instruments in the hands of the Almighty. Um, so as we grow, as we build, as we are able to monetize and accumulate multiple streams of income, you will see the investment. You will see the building of Zion. 
you will see the amplification of the work as we empower others. Again, um, I want to create a portal within Rastafari because I watch a lot of other content creators. You have Muslim content creators. You have um, other ones who are dealing with their things and everyone have their voice. So we want to make sure, again, Rastafari, the Lions, have, have their voice. And I'm not going to be dealing with any of the mix-up or the crisis unless it really leads to a point of, of the development and moving forward. Um, this channel is a solution channel. This channel we're talking about repatriation, reparation, the building of Zion, um, all of those things. And again, that's part of leadership to, to chart the way forward and to expose the world to a network of brethren and sisters who are on the same vibration because enough are we out there. And even since putting up the Lion Voice Network, I've met many more are reaching out. And so we're building a nice energy and a community. So big up everyone who has made comments, met themselves known, who said them love the content. Big up all of the ones who are doing the works. Uh, we are mighty and we're uniting. And, and we're uniting on this platform. And big up the Lion Pied on Patreon. Again, for the price of a cup of coffee, the one said, listen, Starbucks, now nah, get all of my money. I'm going to support the brethren and watch the thing grow. Um, circulate the Rastafari dollar. Circulate the Pan-African dollar with a Rastafari, with a Pan-African brethren. So again, big up um, for that. Um, and again, we want to create Rastafari brethren to lead the Rastafari future. Um, we need strong brethren who can vet and select strong queens who can then protect and raise strong Rastafari youth so that we ensure that the liberty is strong into generation Z, generation Alpha, all of these new generations to come. And as brethren at time, we hold the line. Because the time has come for the lions to tell our own story. And this is the lion's voice. Lion voice. When Rastafari repair the damage. Some way we gotta find a way to manage yeah. Yeah. You ain't gotta change for me No need to explain to me Hey yo, things change, things fall apart Sometimes you gotta live with a broken heart We survived as slaves, seen days to start We cross ocean waves, some are thrown to sharks We survived that part, survived that ship Now we got trouble with relationships She wanna be a bad some wanna be rich, nobody want family life, we got trick Got problems from slavery time, that's not fixed Still we drop it like it's hot caught by the matrix In slavery times, I know I couldn't protect You must admit, I know you lost a little respect And I know that I had to fight back You had to watch my manhood under attack And if I tried to react, killed a lot in a cage The same rules still apply in the cyber age, yo You ain't gotta change for me, in fact No need to explain to me I'm a king, that's why it's plain to see You're a queen, not who you claim to be hey, yo. You ain't gotta change for me In fact, no need to explain to me I'm a king, that's why it's plain to see You're a queen, not who you claim to be She got a back tattoo, her neck tattoo Got a nose ring and a tongue ring too Got a makeup mask that I can see through I know what's under the weave and all the hair blue She got kinky hair, just like mine First queen of the earth, so I know she divine